Hi, this is Paul Neal from Pen Productions, and here's just a quick little demo of something I've just been messing around with. This is an auto um, modifier selection tool. One of the hassles when working with Macs often is that you're bouncing back and forth through objects, and they might have different modifiers on them. In this case, we'll add a couple of just sort of uh, standard modifiers to these, and we'll add a twist modifier. And maybe over on this one, we'll add a couple of other things as well. So we'll add a uh, skin and a cloth modifier. And what happens is you'll be bouncing around. You'll want to be working with specific ones, maybe the skin in this case. And what you have to do each time is you have to go down. And every single time you go back and pick one and, and do something with it, you then have to go back and reselect that modifier when you change objects. Turn on auto modifier. And you'll notice nothing's basically changed. It's all working as you expect. Click on skin in this case. Go over to the green object and click back on it. And you'll notice now skin selected. Go back to the uh, uh, green object again. We'll go to the bend modifier. And again, now you can see that the modifiers are being switched. Instance modifiers on multiple selected objects also work. So if we take uh, these two objects, for instance, and we instance them, and we'll notice now that when we pick them, we can go in and pick the skin. And now the skin on both of them is currently functioning. And even when mo both are picked, we can see that they're, uh, they're updating correctly and bringing us to that modifier. Simply turn it off, and that feature no longer has any effect. Turn it back on. As soon as the selection changes again, it updates it. All you have to do is check on another modifier. And now that modifier is the new active one in that object.